Hello there, Internet. My name is White Dragons, and welcome back to my modded survival let's play private pack. I always say that. Uh, you will die again. And just so to note that we are not going to be working on the comic book uh, superhero stuff, as some people will call it, or as the Project Superhuman. Um, I think we've done enough of that for a little while, but I do want to show you a couple little things. Number one, I did start complaining about running out of space. And we are running out of space. I did create this paint mixer with open with the open blocks. The problem is, is I need purple. I think it's purple, blue, yellow, and black. Uh, I did. I was able to get the black, and I was able to get the yellow. But the blue and purple are going to be pretty hard. And what the paint mixer does basically is it creates it so that you can paint blocks. I also went ahead and constructed the Tinker's Construct Forge, and I just moved over our tool forge. And that's how I got these lovely weapons. Rawr! These bad boys are so badass. Also, uh, if you take a look, um, you see where it has luck and haste? I got the luck from Lapis, and I got the haste from putting redstone. And basically all you do there is, if you've never done it before, is you just put it in here. You can use redstone blocks, or Lapis blocks, it, it doubles the amount that you can put on it. Or you can use just regular Lapis and redstone, and it'll just give you the upgrade. Maybe I'll show you, maybe I won't. You can always go and look it up. It's really simple. But this is how you repair a tool. Whatever the tool was made out of, the head of it, you just simply repair it. Voila. And here, basically, in the tool forge, you can see exactly what it is. So, like, for example, this is a hammer, the durability, the speed, the level that it can it can mine. Unfortunately, it's redstone. I eventually, I have to get higher, and in order to get higher, I have to have a different type of metal. Uh, my attack is 1.5 hearts, uh, modifiers remaining are 2. And so far I have modifiers as Lapis and Redstone. Now on both of these wet, both of these bad boys, they can be named. So I've got Drop the Base in 1, and I've got Pick of the Month. So that's pretty cool. I believe Drop of the Base I had to put in the Anvil, so that's why it looks like that. So it looks the name looks a little different. Um, and yes, I did make an anvil. So the forge area is complete. The problem is, is I am running into just stuff everywhere. I've got stuff everywhere, and I don't know where everything is at. Now, the idea for this episode was to build a, a, a new structure and then paint it. The problem is, is like I said before, I need blue and purple. I don't have those right now. So... I double checked and rechecked and the wiki says for the open blocks that we can use any type of block and it'll paint it. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to show you what I've pre-started. I love flying. Flying is so much easier in Minecraft. Is this. Since obviously we're wearing the Green Lantern outfit, I figured the first big building we should build is, yes, a timepiece or the Green Lantern's Lantern. I think I got it right. I may not have gotten it right. It may look like a timepiece, uh, but it kind of looks like the Lantern's Lantern. I could be wrong, but you know. Uh, I do know also that this will have uh, some lap lapis put on it eventually uh, for luck, for better drops. Um, so uh, I also checked out and, and uh, reviewed uh, the Project Superhuman uh, mod, I don't know if luck actually plays a part in um, in the looting of the bags. So, it may not play a part. Get out of here. Oh, he died. I don't even have to worry about him. So, uh, we have the outline already made in cobblestone, which was pretty easy to make. Of course, it just attached it to the, to the uh, bridge here, and then Vada bing, vada boom. Uh, but the thing that I want to look at today, and we may have to go back. Oh, yeah, we do have to go back because I need some cobblestone. Um, the thing I want to look at today is whether or not we can use just. I think I want to just use regular cobblestone uh, because if we can't paint, uh, I don't want to waste the opportunity. In this episode, so oh, I was going for food, wasn't I? I don't know how I get that mixed. How I always seem to lose my mind when it comes down to that. Cookies. 
So nobody has come down here. None of the villagers have come down here. So I'm probably going to have to either do something with this area or move some villagers down here. So uh, this is a pretty much a safe spot for us. Uh, of course, nothing can spawn behind us and nothing can spawn in front of us. Uh, I did, however, have to put another chandelier up in my underground base there because they were spawning in the forge area. So I think if I read correctly, the chandelier only does 16 block radius. So there you go. All right. So if we right click with our chisel in our hand, we can actually take and put blocks inside. The chisel can change the blocks, which is pretty awesome. Now, my only regret that if I do this is that if the open blocks can't paint the block through the chisel, I have a chisel building because the idea is to paint it green and white trimming. That's the idea. So, um, looking through all of this, I would probably have to say that I want something smooth. I want something decent looking. So, probably going to have to go with something that, that doesn't have a lot of texture feel to it. So I'm probably going to go with the cobblestone, with this uh, just the huge cobblestone tiles, and I believe the textures should run together. And then on top of that, I'm going to use the white cobblestone um, with light panels for the ooh the sun's coming up yay for the uh, lining or the trimming of the building. So with that being said, uh, I'm not going to bore you too much with this. Because I know a lot of people are what the hell was that? I know a lot of people don't like watching this kind of stuff. And I do understand because you're here to see a let's play and not you're not here to see a let's build. So, but I will just do the first couple of floors and then we'll work from there. Of course, flying does reduce your, um, your ability to mine quickly. I guess is the best way to say it. Uh, and I was kind of hoping that I didn't have to worry about that, but apparently I do. So, we're gonna use this as the trim, right? And then we'll use this as the uh, wall piece. And then we should have a flat surface from the distance. When you get close, it'll be different, but when you, you should have a flat surface when we paint it, and then when we paint the trim going across like this, it should be white. If it's not, <sighs> oh well, at least we tried. That's the important thing. Flying also seems to use up hunger, which is really weird. I've never, I, I don't know why it does that, but maybe that's what the mod designer did was put that in so that people couldn't be OP'd with it, which is pretty bad. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, or there could be just a, bu a bug or something, who knows. But um, yeah, so. Uh, we're going to be able to use solid, we're going to be able to use full blocks because also I don't, Steve, I have a Steve arm. I don't have the regular arm. Uh, also, if I do this, check this out. Oh, no. Is it this one? One of these bad boys turns me white. There. In this slot, it turns me white for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but with the chandelier, we can basically avoid, you know, we could actually put a chandelier here and a chandelier over there probably chandelier in the middle and we'll be fine there is another type of torch that we could use called a mega torch I think and the mega torch basically does a 64 block radius now I think I may have to start switching some of those around because I really don't like wasting the diamonds uh, but we'll see we'll see we'll see uh, so yeah that's pretty much it once I've got it built and, and looking good I will come right back and uh, we'll uh, go from there. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back and but um, I mean it's, it's not very much, and and it's been a, a few days since I've been here, uh, cause I had to leave and go take care of some stuff, and then some other stuff came up, and what the hell? Let me go ahead and do this. Slash game rule mob griefing false. 
Like I said, it's been a couple of days. Gonna take care of business. So, while you were away, I went ahead and made some more uh, glass with the chisel mod, and it's basically borderless glass. The panel glass that's borderless does have a border to it, but uh, I think it looks kind of cool. Kind of like space agey, I guess. Uh, and then this, of course, is borderless block glass. And then, of course, we have the slabs, <clears throat> the stone slabs, to keep that feel and look. So, in addition to all of this, I did, I did go ahead and put um, some luck on my sword to see if we could get some, uh, just to test it out. Uh, and I did put three chandeliers in to guarantee there would be no spawnage within that area because I did leave I did leave my white here for a little bit because I had an emergency to take care of so I was pretty happy about that anyways but uh, the jungle wood is actually not from the jungle it's actually from the rubber trees over here uh, when you take a rubber tree and you get rubber uh, rubber wood but uh, a rubber wood, uh, yeah, rubber logs. But when you break them down, they turn into jungle wood. So I thought that was pretty nifty, pretty nifty indeed. So the whole concept behind this is going to be it's going to be raised, you know, pretty high. Uh, we're going to have multi floors, um, and then underneath is going to be. See, here's the thing. I don't know if I want to put the storage system underneath. Or if I want to put it on top. If I put it on top, I don't know if I have enough room. I mean, I could actually, if I wanted to, just using this outline, okay? And I may do some of this on Twitch, I don't know. Uh, but I could go, like, from, like, here? Start here? No, 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 no. We'll start right here. Yeah, we'll start right here. No, because the, the pipe has to be behind it, right? Yeah, the pipe has to be behind him. So, that would mean we'd have to come out to here. Or do I want to come to here? Actually, I'd rather come out here, so this way I have a walkway to the back side of it. So, yeah. That lessens the amount of, of stock I can put up. Uh, so, we would start here. And it's just an example, okay? So, we'd have... A, we're going to use the better barrels. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we get thirteen out of that. We go thirteen high, and then we would go. See, we have to we, see. That's the problem, is we still have to have the piping. So, ooh, we may have to do it underground. That would totally suck, man. Oh, that would so suck so bad, cause. I really like being in the day. I don't really like being underground. But we could stack it. Let's see. We could go too high here and put a platform maybe out and then go two more. That would give us oof. So give us four. No, one, two, three, four. Yeah. That would give us four um, better barrels to use. Uh, now, the better barrels actually can only hold one item. So that's why I'm trying to think ahead of the amount of space that I would need in order to do this. Or we do it underground where we can have a little bit more uh, room to play around with. And uh, of course underground would be the water. We would have to deal with the water. And um, the water's not so bad. Uh, it's not so bad to deal with. I can deal with that on off camera. It's not a big deal. Uh, I have a ton of sand. So I can just basically block off an area and then sand it and then use my excavator here. Rawr! Just to dig through it and get, get done with it. But that would give us a little bit more room. And I, what I would do probably is I'd probably come out to... Ooh, I'd say right here. And let's see. We can go down that much where it's kind of hidden. Um, and... Because I think four, if we go down four, ooh, we go down four, one, two, three, so we'd have to go down one more. Jump on this. I think there's a character that has water, breathe under underwater breathing. I may have to go get that character. Uh, but come out all the way out here, and then kind of like come all the way around to, yeah, probably from there to there. 
make like a big solid block underneath. That would take some time to do uh, on both and do that on both sides. And then that way we have like a big storage unit. Or I could do it like that and then just have like different ways of, get, of getting up there. I don't know. Oh, but th we'll use this. We're going to use this building anyways uh, for we're going to we're actually going to move out of there. OK, you ready? We're going to move out of there. You and I together. We're moving out of there. Uh, and that's going to turn into like a lighthouse slash docking area because I have Archimedes boats in here and I really don't like flying. Um, I'd prefer to use the Archimedes boats uh, just because it's much more ow, much more cooler asshole uh, this is gonna be a doorway and what's probably gonna wind up happening is, is you're gonna be able to step up pressure plates and then the doorway is gonna open up and you, you can walk in so that'd be pretty that's gonna be pretty cool uh, I don't see a lot of people doing that so uh, and the, it's a I think it's called a three door three-way door lock or something like that so we'll be able to you know the villagers if they come down here We'll be able to access the the room too. Ha ha! Sucker can't get to me, can you? Ha 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 ha! Eat me. Um. So, I think I'll figure that out, and when I come back, uh, we'll have probably uh, with the amount of cobblestone that I had to use for this one, it was like two stacks. So. The amount of cobblestone I have now, I could probably get about two to three layers done, and then um, then come back. But if you look on the mini map, it looks pretty damn cool. Over to the bottom right, it looks pretty damn cool. I'm impressed, and I I really hope we can paint this thing uh, green and white because that would so rock. And I'm still trying to look for purple. I may have to go adventuring. So, but I want to build everything first before I do before I go out and start with the Advented uh, with Nevermind 2's mod and uh, Runic Dungeons, and we still we still have this dungeon over here that needs to be explored, and uh, I'm not tanky enough for it yet, but I am getting ready to be tanky. Uh, there is a care there is some armor that can be made in a care in a super by the about. And a might and a project superhuman. There we go. Character that we can use as super tanky that could go in there and just wreck havoc. But um, we'll see. We'll see. So uh, yeah, that's what that's the plan. And I know we're not doing a lot of this on camera. Oop, that's not the one I want. I want this one where I can shoot you. Ah, uh, does eight damage. It's not bad. Though I don't like the cooldown bar. But I guess that's the pullback, I guess. It's pretty good. If you can't see it, you probably can't, but there is a bow and arrow that's in my hand right now that as I right hold down right click, just like a regular bow and arrow, it shoots arrows. But I don't need arrows because I'm the Green Lantern and I can make things with my willpower. Muhahaha. <laughs> I missed him. One more. Okay. All right. So, like I said, I will figure that out. And like I said, when you come back, whoa, shit, it's spawning bad now. Uh, let me just back up here real quick. Um, when you come back, I'll probably have, like I said, the first and second story done, and uh, we'll be able. And I'll have figured out by then what I want to do, um, as far as our storage system is concerned. I may want to build it in the sky. Who the hell knows? I I do know this is I want to be able to uh, give the villagers like a I want to make a city with shops underneath the city because I think that would be kind of cool uh, with people living underneath the city because I think that would be cool. People living on top of the city because that living on top because that would be cool too, and having this big old building over here and uh, I. Every time we get like a really good character, I wonder. Hold on, let me see something. Oh, it doesn't affect me. Oh, cool. Okay, you jerk. See you like this. Oh, I missed. Where'd he go? Oh, they don't affect me. Okay, so like in like with the regular bow, um, when I would shoot it, I would get 
the effect from the, whatever the mob effect was. Oh! Oh! Oh no! 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 I'm fireproof, but I, but the building is not. Holy crap! No! 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 Do not do that! You big jerks! Yes, I am fireproof. Because see, it says fire resistant and resistance three, which I'm not 100% sure what I'm resistant to because I can get poisoned still. So, unless that helps with the fire resistance. Mm hmm. All right. Well, it's getting nighttime and it's getting really buggy out here. So, I'm gonna pause the video here, and when I come back, I'll have the first and second floor done, and I'll have a decision on what we're gonna do about our storage unit. All right. All right, guys, we're back, and here's what I've gotten done so far. Uh, I had to go downstairs for a minute here. The blood moon happened. I died. It was a bad day in paradise. A couple. Of, ooh, it's bad stuff. I don't want that. Where's, did I, lose, I already use up all my food? Whoa. Okay, no big deal. I got food up here. Um, but here's what I've gotten done so far. I bet I do need to grab some food. So let me grab some. What the? I really hate you. That's the aftermath of the blood moon. This. Thank you. I really hate those things. Okay. So let me get some food here real quick. Because like I said, the blood moon just basically pummeled the hell out of me. Um, and it was really bad. Give me that back. Thank you. Okay, get something to eat. Throw these back on so we always have food. Alright, so here's what... Oh, no, no, no! Don't let me step on that. Uh, so here's what we've accomplished. Or I've accomplished. Together we accomplished it. Uh, two stories. I pretty much almost burned all my cobblestone. So, yeah. There's that. You know, the glass pretty much used up majority of the rest of the sand that I had collected. Um, from over there so uh, we're pretty much at, almost out of sand Time to work on that why is there a person over here hello would you like to come with me please Ooh, she fell I heard it too oh we got a nun look at that that's so cool hey how you doing here move freely you are free to to live here now uh, but let's go on the inside and take a look because it's getting dark. Uh, I did have to make a uh, NPC carpenter's bench uh, for some items. Uh, we did burn through one of our carpenter uh, chisels. I mean, carpenter chisels. One of our chisels. So there is that. That's where these lights come from. Is the custom NPC uh, custom NPC uh, carpenter's table, which is pretty nifty. Now remember, this isn't done completely yet, so. Uh, this is just concepts so you guys know what I'm doing. So this will be the first floor. Uh, we'll have a small amount of shops. Not very many. Uh, but Because this is going to be like a receptionist area. Kind of per se. There's the carpenter's bench by the way. Anyway, by the way, if you can't, if you have custom NPC, make one of these. These things are awesome. Look at the things that you can make. They're so cool. This is where I got my uh, crates from. And look, it's like, what, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? It's cheaper to make a crate than it is to make a chest in Minecraft. It's pretty good. You can make a weapons rack. But I want to show you the lamp that I made. Should be right. There it is. The lamp, which all it calls, calls for is six pieces of iron and two glasses, two glass blocks and a... Um, torch which is pretty easy for me because like I said I, I had a ton of sand so we had glass already so uh, and they give off great light too man they are so awesome in light uh, and but then uh, you'll be able to go upstairs through here um, if you're handicapped however there'll be an elevator right here just simply hold down shift and you go down if you wish to go up just hold space and you can go up the chandeliers did take a little bit more than what I wanted out of my diamonds, but I think it's well worth it in the long run. But as you can see, it's very pretty. You can look everywhere. This will be ideally the room that we'll use for uh, shops. Because, um, I, like I said before, we do have some people that do want to come 
and start, uh, you know, being part of our village, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, this was going to be a, a staircase, but we're going to have one staircase leading up this way, and one staircase leading up uh, to the next uh, area, which will be our storage area, which will be kind of nifty to see. Uh, the way I've planned it out, there'll be 40, yes, 40, uh, going, f uh, going all the way around, 40 different barrels that we can put in going too high or two to three high. I'm thinking too high. That gives us 80 barrels to put stuff in. And that's not including if we want to come over here and start putting in barrels over here. So, and if the villagers start getting a little sticky fingered, well, they're going to have no access. So, that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching. Likes and comments are greatly appreciated. As always, we do this for fun, not for profit. Yes, you're getting this lovely entertainment for free. And remember, as always, I do my own editing, my own um, sounds, and my own recordings. So, you know, if I do something right, if I do something wrong, if you think I can do something better, let me know down in the comments down below. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Goodbye.